The Unity Project offers a counterculture education. Why? Because the present culture teaches us that indentured servitude or a job is the best way to earn money and provide for ourselves. The system teaches and demands that we voluntarily enslave ourselves to one of the local plantations or jobs and hope they will keep us around for 20, 30, or 40 years, at which end you will receive a retirement package and a monthly government-issued social security check. Retirement benefit packages are being eliminated for 401k offerings, which you contribute to, and the plantation or job matches with the option to invest on your behalf and can also lose on your behalf. In the present system, we aren't given the possibility to make unlimited amounts of money because every job has a limited return on investment. You go to a job to work for a paycheck, trading your time for dollars. The problem with the present system is there are no checks and balances, but there is unlimited greed, corruption, racism, sexism, power struggles, and injustice. The problem with the people is that there is unrealistic trust for a system that is proven to be corrupt and insensitive to the needs of the masses and our inability to evaluate the overall effectiveness of the system. This system is statistically unsound and ineffective because we have developed a herd or board mentality. We continue to do the same thing even though it doesn't work for most of us, which is insanity. We're afraid to use the example of our ancestors to create new values and new approaches, new models. Most people function out of habits, mostly bad, that are self-defeating. And we fail to apply the concept of unity, working together. And this brings us to individualism, which is an American grown way of life. It causes problems not only for the individual, but also for families, communities, cities, states, and governments, and countries. The dogmatic and selfish pursuits of man have pushed the world to the brink of destruction. Global warming, pollution, war, disease, racism, and sexism. The counterculture is when we work together in unity, we can create unlimited potential for income and life by creating a simple structure of leveraged efforts and activities. A system of connected, committed work to a common goal can bring success in all aspects of life. Everybody involved does a little and reap the benefits of the whole, like a beehive or ant community. The counterculture economics has to be independent of mainstream concepts. Any concept that was given to the masses by the oppressor cannot be good for the masses. If we seriously evaluate the economic financial models that have been given to the masses, we can see that the owners of the plantations or jobs benefit the most. In these models, we are voluntary slaves. We depend on the master for everything, the finances, medical, and retirement, which equals total dependency on the master, where we are no longer free. We have to come when he says and stay as long as he says. Our total life and all its possibilities are in the hands of someone else. Social security is the ultimate betrayal because it's a benefit we work and contribute to our entire lives and is not guaranteed and can be taken away if we stop trying to earn. Social Security forces you to stop trying to earn or you get penalized. The Unity Project says that we must find a way to serve the many if we want to be great. If we help enough people get what they want, we will automatically get what we need and want. When two or three agree, nothing is impossible for them. The Unity Project offers a realistic approach to an enemy system. Economically, it allows us to break our dependency on an oppressive system. Socially, it offers the group relationships around the world that can be trusted. Emotionally, it offers a holistic approach to life by supporting growth and development. Physically, it allows us the ability to control our lives, thus fostering a whole, healthy person. Spiritually, it helps by embodying the concept of unity and salvation as a group experience we are aligned with how God works in the world. The Unity Project teaches that we can change our condition through unity, the act of being together out of common good, the choice to work and live together for safety, security, and survival. Unity is the only real response to slavery, poverty, exploitation, or discrimination. Through program, controlled action designed to move us forward without fantasy or self-destructive behavior. 
where we consciously reject Negrization, which is the instrument of the enemy system to keep black people in check. And finally, by developing a new system of cooperative economics, not limited by individualism and black self-hate, we are the captains of our fate and the controllers of our destiny.